Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Another Honor Films. Continuing the iMovie tutorials, you guys, but before I start, I wanted to ask you guys personally, what do you think, um, there's been a lot of hate on the new iMovie layout, and honestly, just uh, myself, there, there are bugs and glitches that I've noticed, a lot of them, and uh, I guess it would be kind of hard for new users to, like if you were completely new, you didn't know anything about iMovie, and you just went into the new iMovie layout, and uh, you'd probably have some difficult time just like if you were a new user and you're going straight to Final Cut Pro which is a really advanced uh, video video editing software so I just I wanted to ask you guys is what do you think what do you like the new iMovie layout or what do you do you do you prefer the other one and uh, yeah that's about it but so let's begin with our tutorials today we're gonna be learning how to edit I mean select clips and choose clips and drag them right into your project and how to like do little things with them that normally just like to start off your project like start off nice and simple so last video I mean previous two videos first I you guys if you're just now joining me I did change my layout I changed I swapped my swap project and event that's what I did that's why my project is up here and my events are down here and well, along with my like the project well let me see did I get that wrong or right it's uh, I swapped so swap project and event. So this is below project. That's the event, I believe. Uh, I'm probably getting the two mixed up, but that's what I did. I like this layout because it is very similar to the iMovie, the previous version of iMovie layout. And uh, in the previous lesson, we learned how to actually create an event, one of these here, and then create a project inside of the event, which is this project here. So now what we're going to do is I have also uploaded a video. I just simply dragged and dropped into my event and I put it in my events. Then I simply created the project and now I'm gonna begin by I'm actually gonna select this select this is part of this clip in order into my project now no the way iMovie now works is easier easier to choose from this window right here what you want and you want to place it right in here what you want so uh, let's say I'm, I want to choose just this clip and you just click and drag you want to select what you want like let's say I want part of that I'm gonna drag it straight in here now sometimes when you drag it in it wants to put it in as an audio file like this but you don't, you don't want to put it in the, only the audio. Normally you want your full project. So you just drag it in here. Now you have your project. And uh, once you have your project, actually let me double check because sometimes there's I have a hard time with this and I don't want to get it mixed up. So I'm going to delete this real quick. And I'm going to click the highlight area and I'm going to go straight up here because it shows two sometimes. And I'm going to go up to the top one here. Like that way it shows the audio down here and I'm not going below. So I want it right here with the audio in showing down here that the audio goes right here. So now I got this clip. You see it's really huge, but I like to actually shorten it, make it smaller because it is only two seconds and it should look like two seconds. It shouldn't look like a full 30 second video. But yeah, there's two seconds. And here now if you, I knew I move, you can't really actually cut. I mean, you can't really select a part like you want to take out let's say like select it and delete it the way I've noticed you have to do it now is you want to put the line wherever you want it that that line right there the white gray line place it where you want it and then just right click at their area and you can split the clip now you got two different clips and then you can delete the part you don't want and that's the way I found out to uh, actually to delete a clip from here or you could just delete the entire thing and then select what the party you actually did want Normally that's what, what you end up doing. That's just in case you ever want to like delete a clip from your main project and you don't want to have to reselect the, the clip. So the way but you the way I normally do it is I would simply go through here, I would make sure okay, this is the clip I want and just keep playing it, make sure like hit the play, that way I can you can hear the volume of it. And uh, then just click select like all that and then drag it in. And there you are. You see, you put it at the bottom here. That's another problem sometimes. Like, you don't want it at the bottom. You want it right in your project. So what you want to do is just drag it in here until it goes up to your project. Like, I'm not even sure what that bottom part of the video is for at the moment. But I have sometimes I have to drag it right in, right over this, and then I have to go over to the side. And there you are. You have it in your project. Which you, I don't believe you should be able, shouldn't have to do that. It's like, I don't know if that's a glitch or something. But I haven't really messed with that yet. But I know this is the main project right here. So yeah, now I got these clips here. I'm actually going to right click this and I'm going to, where is it? It is, no, never mind. That was in the previous version. But in the previous version, you would you would be, you were able to actually connect both of these. Like you, you just saw me split them up. 
and uh, you can just right click and you'll be able to connect the two clips back together but it's also you can just do this here and go over it drag it and drop it and if you drag it and drop it over this here it will give you options like replace replace from start meaning like from the beginning and insert I'm just gonna hit replace and I'm gonna delete this clip because that this is the entire clip here now there we have we have our two clips and from here you can actually adjust your audio this is your audio down here you can uh, if you don't like the audio below it you can, you can actually go up to the right corner here the same place where you adjusted the size of the clip as I showed you guys in the first tutorial like the size you can go right here show wave format uncheck that box and your wave format the audio is going to be completely gone but honestly I do prefer it there because now it's easy access and I can actually change my audio if it's too loud or too not loud enough I can just adjust it right here and then also the audio where this these little buttons here are for the audio to disappear it's like the that line right there means like the audio will get lower as it reaches the end here so it's like a good ending to a video basically but on that that's it for this episode you guys next episode we're going to go over how to further edit these using the adjustment tool and uh, show you guys additional items there and but other than that thank you for watching this tutorial and catch you guys later